And on the ninth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a repairman. So God made a machinist. God said, I need someone that is willing to get up at five in the morning, cut metal, drill holes, cut metal again, eat supper, then stay up past midnight reading blueprints. So God made a machinist. God said, I need somebody willing to work all night replacing a burned out motor and watch it not start and dry his eyes and say, let's rebuild her. I need somebody that can shape a hammer handle from a piece of scrap aluminum, shim up a lathe with a shoe tongue, repair an engine with bailing wire, duct tape, and sheet metal screws. When the plant is broke down in the busy season, we'll finish his 60-hour week by Wednesday, and then pain from standing too long, we'll put in another 60 hours. So God made a machinist. God said, I need somebody strong enough to unload a truck and pile scrap, yet gentle enough to help the new guy and give him a pat on the back when he done good. So God made a machinist. It had to be somebody that would grind deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to feed the shop cat, to sweep, to scrape, grind, drill, mill, cut, and fill, and paint. Someone that would laugh and then sigh and then would reply with smiling eyes to his two sons, I love you, so God made a machinist.